as the only NFL team without a logo. The Browns' simple design is decidedly old school, much like the team's namesake, Paul Brown. The Cleveland Browns were old school, and it was good school. And I'll say school because Paul Brown was a teacher. He brought the classroom to football. But as innovative as he was on the field, not in uniforms. He kept it simple. No logo. Couldn't be bothered. Again, it, it goes back to the no-nonsense attitude of Paul Brown. The use of brown and orange, I think if, if you were in a fashion design class or something, they'd say, well, that would never work. But, but it, it absolutely works on the browns. Those two colors are, are brilliant together. Their first uniform had a brilliant design element of a drop shadow number. And it was the only year that they used the, the drop shadow. But the drop shadow was just it kind of a, I, I can't help but use the word elegant. For the following three decades, the Browns kept it simple. It wasn't until 1980 and the arrival of the Cardiac Kids that another bold fashion statement was made. The Cardiac Kids with the Browns, that, that was a you know kind of a shift in the dynamics, if you will. You know, we're not going to put that logo on. We're not going to be too out there. But these orange pants, we're going to try those. They were fun to look at. I hadn't seen anybody with orange pants before, certainly not in football. But the orange pants faded into history. And the Browns soon returned to their hallmark look. And even though the city lost its team for several years, when they returned, so did their colors and tradition. It helps define the city and define the people. They know what they're all about. They don't need a lot of flash and blitz. You know, they are a working man's team. Brown and orange, they're not just colors, they're old school.